Come on, I know it seems hard, but we can't just give up. I mean, what if Thomas Edison had given up? Uh, what's that? W what's that thing you're working on? Well, it's a light bulb and... A light bulb! Light bulb! Yeah, I invented that. Me! I'm Thomas Edison. I invented the light bulb. Uh, what's it do? It lights up a room using electrical... Lights up a room using electrical stuff. I was about to say that because I invented it. Uh, what are you working on? It's a phonograph. Phonograph! I knew that because I invented it. I'm Thomas Edison. I rule! Look it up. Edison was a dick. Wait, which movie should I start with? Backdoor Sluts 4. Eh, I haven't seen the first three. I wouldn't know what's going on. Here we go. I want to watch all of these movies non-stop. I don't want to watch any more of these movies ever. What will you be having, sir? Yes, I'll have what I had last time, pheasant on the glass. Don't you mean pheasant under glass? Nope. Yeah, now turn around and lay an egg on the glass. Ah, oh, yeah. I defy you to tell me exactly what's wrong with this. Holy moly, Marcy Miller! She bought feminine products at my dad's pharmacy, so you know she's up and running. Yeah, I wish I had the guts to talk to her. Talk to her? Chris, no one talks to each other anymore. If you want to get a girl's attention, you text her a picture of your penis. What? Really? Are, are you sure? Oh, yeah. People who send their daughters to public high schools are basically asking for this. Well, I did just get this new phone from my dad. All right. What could go wrong? It worked out great for... <laughs> Doing up here? I need you to take the trash out. You know what? I'm gonna use this Peter doesn't have to take out the trash coupon that I got for my anniversary. You gave that to yourself. I don't know. It says official. Forget it. I'll do it myself. This whole attic business is ridiculous. Hey guys, check it out. I'm a lady. Joe, you hit a home run with that. I want to try it. Bonnie. Joe, how did you find me? Love is a powerful compass. Anytime I quiet my mind and clear my heart, it always leads me to you. Plus, Dirtbag here has a chip in his ear. I do? Damn it, no wonder Peter's so good at hide and seek. You're under the canoe in Quagmire's yard. Son of a bitch! Gretchen? Wow, you look great! Yeah, I didn't have kids. Oh, yeah, of course. But what the hell are you doing here? I haven't seen you in 20 years. Peter, I finally got your letter. You know, the one where you said that you were having doubts about marrying Lois, and you still had thoughts about marrying me? Gretchen, I wrote that a long time ago. Well, my answer is yes, Peter. Yes, I will marry you! Gretchen, I am already happily, uh, moderately hap- uh, relative- I am- I am married. Oh, then I suppose your wife is entitled to know that you were still in love with me just days before your wedding. <gasps> Blackmail! Thank you, Cleveland. And I don't know what to call the thing you're doing to me, lady. Well, I've looked everywhere. Maybe she left. Paul Blatt, if you're out there, I could sure use a miracle. Choo-choo! All aboard the Ladybug Express! But be careful, Peter. If this train slows to less than 50 miles an hour, then Sandra Bullock has to marry a neo-Nazi and act like she didn't know about it, and then overcompensate by adopting a black kid. Ah! Help! Ah! Ah! Holy crap! Ah! Well, he obviously doesn't know it's just a pity vote. In fact, this whole homecoming king thing seems to have just gone straight to his head. I know, he's acting like an arrogant jerk. Quiet, Rupert. It is an honor to serve the king in this manner. Brian, this can't go on. Chris is out of control. He's even more arrogant than an actor, writer, director. Well, my script is brilliant and I'm a great director. The question is, how bad do I want this part? <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Jeez, I'm really sorry, Carter. But at least you have your health. <coughs> <coughs> Oh. You know, this is your fault. You're the one who said I should do it. Mm-hmm. There's that judginess Babs is always calling me and talking about. 
Look, nobody steals from Carter Pewterschmidt. I am going to Africa and get my money back. And you're coming with me. Africa? We're going to Africa? I wonder if it will change us. But of course, it did change us. I've been working here for 50 years pretending I'm a woman. Do you ever regret not having children, Mother Bernadette? Oh, I've had many children. <laughs> Wow, I really messed up. I haven't felt this bad since I drove by that speed sign. Well, we figured you'd say no to us, but not to Vice President Joe Biden. Oh, my God, Mr. Vice President. First, I want to thank you, Vic, for shooting the guy we said was Osama bin Laden. Second, give these kids their dog back. Of course, sir. I'm so sorry. Here, take him. Thank you. You're a great American. Thanks, Mr. Biden. No problem. Hey, you guys watch Veep? No. Yeah, it's all fake. Yet we said no. Wow, Karen, nice to meet you. I'm Glenn Quagmire. I didn't know Peter even had a sister. What are you, ashamed to make chin nuts? Oh my God, his chin kind of does look like nuts. Ha <laughs> ha, I never noticed that. How could you not notice it? Watch this, I'll, I'll, I'll punch him in the nuts. <clears throat> yeah, that's sort of clever. All right, check it out, Bonnie. This is how we're gonna fool Joe's dad. Oh my God. Yeah, looks real, right? I put this pair of pants on the front legs of this horse and strapped Joe to the front with his legs tied behind the horse's neck. And then we put Cinnamon's head up the back of Joe's shirt and simply hid the rest of the horse behind this curtain. <laughs> His breath is very moist, Peter. And to induce movement, I'm gonna snap the horse's balls with this dampened kitchen towel. Ah, oh my God! Holy crap, he's out of control! Doesn't look real! Ah! Plan B! Plan B! I'm so happy you all could make it tonight. We will have many things you will nibble at and not eat. Then I will give you a pizza. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Hey, can we watch that last episode of Winter Summer now? We will watch together after dinner. In the meantime, feel free to watch Korean pop videos. What is this, and how can I make the rest of my life about it? All right, Peter, almost done. Huh? Huh? Uh, kind of. Yeah. I don't care. Peter, I don't know about this. It seems like a bad idea. Look, Lois, Joe is one of my best friends, all right? I'm only doing this to help him. Besides, where do you hear my Joe voice? Uh, God, I hate being stuck in this chair. No, Peter, that fights it. I'm afraid his behavior has been an issue for a while. He's even been bothering students during nap time. Hey, you up? Guess where I have a crayon. I don't understand why I have to babysit Stewie. I mean, what's he really gonna do if we leave him by himself? And now to test my teleportation pods. <gasps> oh, Jim! Ah, I'm a monster! Hey, Mort, uh, Lois and I are out on a date night. Uh, why don't you give me some condoms and some Excedrin? My wife's got a headache this big. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like from the commercial. This big. All right, then. $12.43. Ah, oh, jeez, that's more of a ripoff than that breakfast machine I bought. Oh, what was the point of all that? Oh, all it does is shoot you. Well, that's okay. I'll just open up a tab. Wait a minute, what the hell's a tab? Does that mean I don't gotta pay? Well, not right now, but... Ah, uh... oh, sweet! Hey, while I'm at it, give me all these copies of Marie Claire. Meg! Meg, I'm hungry! There's a granola bar in the cupboard. I want it! Hey, what's this? What's going on? It's Saturday night. I can be out having a life. Meg, if you don't want to babysit anymore, that's fine. But don't you stand there and lie to me. Oh, oh, Meg, she torched your ass, man. She torched your ass. Why can't you just hire a real babysitter? Now, whoever goes the longest without puking gets the last piece of pie in the fridge. How's everybody doing? Good. Good so far. All right. All right. Nothing yet. Cool. Cool. From the uh, bake sale that Lois would... Yeah! Ooh, one down. I know somebody who won't be having any... I guess I'm gonna... I get to eat... Get the phone. Call 911. Lois, 
Who wants chowder? <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Can I still apply for the job? God, I haven't been this exhilarated since Brian took me to see Les Miserables. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. There will be a slight change in the cast tonight. Oh, no. For this evening's performance, the role of Jean Valjean will be played by Kirk Cameron. Oh, oh, unbelievable! You owe me $34,000. What? What if I sold you my daughter? What? All you gotta do is sign this contract. You can't sell me, you fat son of a bitch! Whoa, careful getting this fish off the hook, Mort. She's got some fangs. <laughs> I can't believe he's over me. I can't believe I'm out 34 grand. I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> Stick around, more Family Guy coming up. Tonight the babysitter comes, Rupert. Lovely Ladon. Oh, hey Ladon. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, well, well, this here? Oh, it's just my package. So you're the guy who's been trying to steal my girlfriend. What? You girlfriend? According to the contract, every night you have to put on my pajamas. Neil, would this stop kicking? Hold still! Hold still! Hold still! My quick All right, that's it. Jeremy must be destroyed. Is anyone there? I say, I think this is how you change a tire, but what do I know? I'm just a baby! Boy, this was a better acquisition than I thought. We may even be able to put in some sorghum this year. 